Hi guys and welcome back to my channel and today I'm be talking about three things. So the first thing is the chill adventures of Sabrina, Shazam and makeup. All my favourite things. So we're going to obviously first start with the chill adventures of Sabrina part 2. I'm not going to spoil anything. No spo there might be some spoilers and there might not be. Don't know if I can ramble on long enough as I want to. So I'm going to give you like a description of what like on Google obviously what the show is about so this ab this adaptation of Sabrina the teenage witch tale is a dark coming of age story that traffics in horror and the and the outcut outcut so I had to say that in in the reimagined origin story Sabrina Spellman wrestles to we can't we, I can't say it because I'm dyslexic so yeah her dual nature half witch half mortal while standing against the f evil forces that threaten her her family including aunts Hilda and Zelda and the daylight world human humans inhabit Karen Shipka Karen Ship yeah, Kerim Shipka. Is that how you say your name? I'm so sorry if I say your name wrong. If you're watching this, if you're not watching this, I'm so sorry anyway. Um, from Mad Men, I never watched that anyway. Leads the cast in her, in the particular role of the show that is based on comic series of the same name. So, um, season 2 came out on Friday the 5th of April that's still on Netflix go watch it Netflix is not sponsoring this video I'm just saying it's really good it starts off really slow but towards the end they got really like really good like proper proper good like really good a lot happened I won't say anything I promise I won't say anything keep my mouth closed but you guys should definitely go watch season 1 and season 2 on Netflix it's really really good basically I think this Sorry, Riverdale. I love you with all my heart. I have the photo of the signatures and everything for Riverdale. But sorry, Riverdale. Sabrina's doing better than you. I have to say it. I'm so sorry. <laughs> my inner Riverdale's just like... <laughs> like that, you know what I mean? But I'm, I'm saying Sabrina's better than Riverdale at the moment. That's what me and my dad said. So it's true, I think. Um, so yeah, that's what's happening. Um, a lot's happening in the show, as I said. A lot's going on. There's a lot of tea. Speaking, speaking, speaking of tea, I'm not going to edit this out, by the way, if you're asking. I got tea. I got, yeah, that for. There's too many things on my side. What the hell's going on? Anyway, yeah, I've got tea. So, a lot of tea, sis in this show um yeah so it's a really good show i'm gonna tell you some of the cast and who they play and whoever if you want to know if you don't want to know you can just skip forward through this video when i talk about the other stuff if you don't want to watch this part so yeah so karen shipka who plays sabrina spellman ross Litch, who plays harvey winkle if you don't know who ross Litch is everyone should know this even my generation should know this. Russ Litch is from Austin Alley and he used to play Austin. See, I know. That's how I recognised him when I first started Sabrina. I was like, hold on, I've seen that guy before. Seen that? And it came up, I was like, my guy. <laughs> and then you have, oh, I can't say this name, Lachi, Lachi and Watson, Susie Putham. So um, her character it's in this in the second season trying to transition into like a um, boy so she's transgendering into a boy which is really good and it, i like how these tv shows are sending a message across about gay sexual i mean gay bisexual transgender stuff like that so i love that in these shows um but gavin leverwood he plays Nick Scra Nicholas Scratch. Um, he goes to a different school than all the than the other two that I just said. So him and Sabrina go to the what the school's called. Um, 
the Unseen or Magical Arts or something like that. I can't remember the name. Then you have Chance Pedo. Pedo. I can't even say it, the last name. I can't even say it, sorry. And he plays Ambrose Bowman, which is Sabrina's, who is Sabrina's cousin in the show. Um, that's my dad's favourite character in the show. I like Ambrose as well, she's very funny, I love him. He's so good. Um, you have Lucy Davis, Lucy, Lucy Davis, who plays Hilda Spellman. She plays, um, obviously Sabrina's aunt, like we just, I just read in the description and stuff. And I, I think she has magical powers, I have no idea. She just like does like spells and stuff and she has like this, this is a spoiler alert, I'm going to put warning spoilers in this video, don't worry. She has like this garden of this greenhouse with all like the spices and the plants and the spells and whatever she needs to conjure up. Um, you have Michelle Gomez who plays Madam Satan. So basically, I don't want to give too much tea on this character. Wait a second. But she plays Linus. Um, it's kind of similar to Shadowhunters because they have a Linus in their show, obviously, because they're Shadowhunters, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, she plays Madam Satan. Um, let's see all the other cast. Then you have Miranda Otto, who plays Zelda Spellman, who is Sabrina's other aunt. Obviously, she has powers and stuff like, like a witch. She's not as strong as Sabrina, but I'm not going to say anything about her. Sabrina. You have Tati Gabrielle who plays Prudence. Um yeah, she's oh she's one of the three sisters. There's two more I mean, yeah, sorry, weird sisters, not yeah, they're still sisters, but you know what I mean. But she's one of the three weird sisters, yeah. Um you have Jess Sinclair who plays with Rosalind something, I don't know. I can't know her last name, so I can't really see. Oh yeah, you have Abigail Cohen who plays the um, second weird sister. Who play she plays Dorcas. That's her name. Got it. Just keeps coming back to me. Um, she plays Dorcas in the show, which I love. And then the third weird sister is Adeline Rudolph, who plays the thir third weird. Sister. And she plays um, Agatha, which is the third rear sister in the show. Who's this? And you got some other guy who Rob Robinson pitch shot George something. I don't know, I can't read the last name. And then you have Richard Cole who plays Father Blackwood. So this guy is just pure evil anyway. You have to find out what happens with him and his character in this show. I'm not gonna say anything else. I think that's all the characters really in the show. Yeah, I think that's most of them. Yeah. So yeah. So yeah, yeah, definitely go watch Supreme. I think the second season is better than the first season a hundred percent because it's um it's very different and the way it ended at the end it's very I, I my face just dropped my face was like <sighs> I had no words I was like what the hell is gonna happen so hopefully you'll come back in October please come back in October or even before that please because season three is gonna kick off like so now I'm going to talk about Shazam. So I saw this on Saturday with my dad. We went to the cinema and we were like, okay, cool, cool, cool. It was a really good movie, to be honest. Um, considering it was a 12A movie, it had swearing in it. So, And there was kind of like little kids there with their parents. So, yeah, little kids don't repeat what the people in the movie said because that's really bad. Oh, well. Anyway, so... Here's a description of the movie, like I did on Sabrina. But yeah, this is a movie that was a TV show, so yeah. So we all have a superhero inside of us. It just takes a bit of magic to bring it out. In 14-year-old Billy Batson's case, he's one of the characters. 
all he needs to do is shout one word to transform into the adult superhero Shazam still a kid at heart Shazam f reveals in the new version of himself by doing what any other teen would do have fun while testing out his newfound powers but he'll need to master them quickly before the evil doctor oh, I can't even say that name Uh, I can't even say that name. And okay, I'm gonna try. If I say it wrong, I'm so sorry. Doctor, I can I just spell it out for you guys? Cause I can't say it. My dyslexia is really bad. Um, T H A D D E U S. Doctor, that I can't even say it. Savinia, S I V A N A, I can't say it, sorry, can get his hands on Shazam's magical abilities. So it came out, ew. well, it came out on Friday here in the UK. Seeing that's the Sabrina, look at us popping, look at the UK popping, you know what I'm saying? 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 So yeah, that's what's going on. So I'm going to tell you the cast of the movie. I just need a <sighs> sorry. Let's go tea. So why do people say Okay they Google put the wrong name of the superhero underneath the actor's name because they're saying both of those are Captain Marvel. No no those are Captain Marvel. I love Captain Marvel whatever whatever but no, the same. So Zachary Levi, who played Shazam, the adult superhero. Asha Angel, who played Billy Bratz Batson. Batson. Yeah. Uh, Asha Angel is actually from Andy Mag, and he plays Jonah Beck. See, I know. That's how I recognise these people. I'm just like, hold on. I was like to my dad, I know that person. He was like, who is he? I was like, he's Jonah from Andy Mag. He was like, oh, okay. I'm joking, he wasn't like that, but he was like, oh, okay, cool, you know, you know, you know these people. I was like, yeah, but not one-to-one, -one, no, no, I just know them because of TV and stuff. Wish I knew them. Anyway, back to the video. Jack Dylan Gracio. Oh, that, he played Billy's, oh, I don't want to spoil anything. Oh, this is driving me crazy if I don't spoil it for you guys. Oh. He played his friend, let's just say that. Played his friend in the film. Can't really explain it for you guys. He played his friend. Let's just say that. Okay. Then Matt Mark Strong, you know from Kingsman, he played oh, what was the guy's name? Not He played the other guy's friend. I forgot his name in Kingsman, sorry. And he played Doctor that S I V A N. That's a separate. Um, no, I don't know. He wasn't in this, was he? I'm so confused. I don't see him. He wasn't in this, was he? You weren't in this, so why are you lying, Google? There's one guy who wasn't in this, by the way. Who's this? Okay, Grace Filton, who played Mary Marvel in Shazam. I don't remember no. Only unless that's the mom. I don't know. I don't know. And then you have Cooper Andrews, who plays Victor Vals. 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 Oh, they are. My, oh no, they're not. Sorry, I saw that. I saw the characters' names and I saw. The, sorry. Oof, my brain. And and then you have Martina Men Anz, Rosa, that word, it's Spanish, I can't really, it's V-A-S-Q-U-E-Z, I can't say that last name. I'm fine, I didn't, but, um, yeah. 
Then you have Lang Cheng who plays Eugene Choi. I think that's one of the children. Um, in the thing, and then you have Jo Jo Van Armad who plays Pedro Pena, and then you have Carol Palmer who plays oh that's Billy's oh Billy's mom. I don't know who the other people were. Who would? I don't know who the other two women were. I'm so confused. Maybe I missed something. I don't know. You have Ross Butler. He played oh when the oh I don't want to say anything. I'm not gonna say anything because oh you guys get mad at me when I spoil the movies so I'm not gonna say anything about anything okay you have Michelle Broth Lota J Lota Jensen Lovia Yavera David Coldsmith he played the young version of Billy that's what I'm saying about that movie anyways um should i give a review on this sh movie oh wow that's a lot of rotten tomatoes sheesh oh that's bad that's my mom going downstairs by the way upstairs are very loud <sighs> that's bad i'm not saying what rotten tomatoes but i give this movie like it's diff it's kind of different from all the other dc movies it's different from justice league aquaman batman versus superman i forgot the other ones you know what i mean right it's been a long time since i ever watched uh, well since i watched aquaman but that was back in december so that's kind of different in a way yeah so it's been a long time since I watched, but I give this movie a, let's say, a 8 out of 10. I liked it, and I, yeah, it's kind of weird in a way, but you guys have to watch it and see it. And that stuff. Anyway, let's move on to Adeline Morin, my queen. Wait, where's the video? The video's on my chair. Should wait on the video. For this next part, this is special, guys. This is special. This is a special part of the video that I'm so excited for. Oh my god, it's gonna mess up my hair. It's gonna mess up my hair. It's gonna mess up. Yeah, I knew it. Oh. Take with it. Oh. Oh. Just, just brush my hair. Oh, the queen that she is. Oh. Oof. Let's just watch. So, so my one of my favorite YouTubers put out a makeup palette. You probably guess why I'm wearing this. It's Adeline Morin. Obviously, I ordered it. Don't know when it's coming to my house. Ordered it yesterday. It came out on Sunday, the palette. But like, you know. So I got it from. Wait, let me try and find the. Oh yeah, and she's putting out a song to like promote her palette more. It's called Yellow, obviously, because she likes yellow. Which is a good thing. So she did a collaboration with Tarte Cosmetics. If you don't know what Tarte Cosmetics is, it's mostly mostly well known in um, America than here. Um, yeah, it's mostly well known in America than America than here. Yeah, yeah, it's mostly well known in America. But she did a collaboration with Tarte and herself, did it together. Also, she has the palette in Ultra, Ult, Ulta stores, which is not in the UK. Obviously, that's in America mostly. So here it is. I, I got it, obviously, because, um, yeah. So she did a iron um, cheek palette. Is that what it says? So, yeah. So I want to tell you. This girl, I can't wait to get my package. I don't know when it's coming. Um, it's probably be in two months. <laughs> I will, as soon as I get it, guys, I will do a review. I will do an eye look with it. I will do anything with it. I will do a whole thing with it, whatever you want me to do. I will do eye looks. I will do whatever. But, oh my God, it looks so pretty. And I can't, I ordered it. <sighs> Should I tell you how much it was, though? 
you'll probably think I'm crazy for getting this, but she's one of my favourite YouTubers at this moment. I don't know if she's watching this, I don't know if she is, but I love her, I love you, Adeline, if you're watching this. Um, I look up to you every single day. So, yeah. The packaging, oh, looks so good. There's so much stuff on the site. Go away, okay. Wait, wait, I found Okay. There's too many. Oh god, oh god, what did I do? What did I do? What did I do? Okay, I didn't do anything. Okay, um. Oh wow. What did I do? Why is it? Why is it? Okay. What did I do? Um. Um. Okay, I think I need to reload the site because, um kind of slow but oh my god the colors look everything i already watched her she yesterday she put a video um with Ray Lenge, um doing the swatches doing the shades and stuff like that obviously i link her the um tart com cosmetics not this why am i tapping the tart cosmetics site down below her merch store down below her instagram down below her snapchat her uh twitter down below stuff like that because um i can't wait to get this palette i'm so excited as you could tell i'm like oh, yes and yesterday i just jumped because i had enough money in my account and i was like yes i need to get this Okay, so this is what the packaging looks like. Wait, is that too bright? I don't even know. <gasps> That's too dark. Wait, let's do a medium. Okay, this is what the packaging kind of looks like. The focus is, hold on, let me just tap on the screen. Yeah, That's what it looks like. No, this is what it looks like, like proper. So it says, add them more and then tart at the bottom. That's the company. That's her holding her palette queen and those are like the colors and swatches you can't really see them that's her like that was i think yeah this is like her ad thing on it obviously um yeah i can't wait to test this out and do because i've been looking for like a summer warm tones palette for a really really long time because i always have shimmer shades and matte shades and stuff but i want to make sure of both you know what i mean so can't wait to get this um i'm going to tell you the shades and the colors so you got adelaide angels that's what she calls her fan base you have mama maureen that's her mom and then you have girl supporting girls obviously it's going to be a yellow color yeah oh sorry let me tell you what the thing so other angels is matte cream mama Morin's matte tan girls supporting girls is matte yellow yeah contour everyone thinks because when she showed her friends the pack everything everyone thinks she's going on tour but she isn't it was when she went on tour two years ago or something so yeah you can even use that as normal even though it's like an eyeshadow you can use it as your contour on your face when you're doing your makeup sorry red eye flight burgundy shimmer so red eye flight is like when she has um late flights to from canada to la and stuff like that so yeah that's the meaning behind it um boss lady matte burnt orange which is gonna be nice she can't really um copyright lily sings because um yeah that's what she said in her video so she had to do another thing um, you have Law of Attraction Yellow Shimmer. That's gonna be nice with the orange and then like the yellow in the in the middle of your eye and then make it pop. It's gonna look really nice, I think. Um, you have Beep Bop. <laughs> I think I said it right. Beep Bop. Um, she because her dog Blue. If you see it on my um sweatshirt, you can't really see it. Wait, and so yeah, because her friend Chloe. Co um something she made say beep up and that's how she got it from her friend and then adapted and then she loves it so and then you have beautiful magical 
beautiful magical wonderful copper shimmer so on her um vlogs she says um at the end of them she's like I hope you have hope you have a beautiful, magical, wonderful day, and see you in the next day vlog. Whatever that's what she says at the end of her videos. Um, promise ring, excellent highlight. So you see the highlight of my on my face that you can see it like there. Her one is blinding. If you watch her video, I will link it down. The highlight she put on in her palette. Wait, can I see a picture of it? I can find it. Oh my god. So that's her highlight. Wait, right there. But when you obviously when you test it, it'd be blinding and it'd be like popping. So yeah. Um, you have I feel beautiful rosy pink blush because she u always uses her mellow wine. Got it. Her mellow wine blush, and she said she uses it every day, and she wants this in her palette. So it's like. These colours she uses every day. She wants it in her palette to make it look nice and stuff, which I love. Um, her packaging is like lemons on the front, which I love. And her mum was like, why do you not put sunflowers? And she was like, she likes lemon. And then she put some like gold and then like green, which I love. Love that packaging so much. Um, what else? Um, so yeah, I can't wait to get this review on here with you guys um, Hopefully get some Some of my girlfriends my girls who are my friends. They want me to do their makeup and stuff. So If you guys are interested any girls in my college or wherever wherever stuff for prom makeup whatever any occasion really just hit me up and I can do it because I really want to use this palette. I want to use it and be proud of her and her accomplishments. Sometimes I, I feel like I want to do the same in a way because I want to go to like makeup school and stuff when I leave college and do apprenticeship and stuff like that. That's what I really want to do when I am leave college and stuff like that. So yeah, I'm so proud of you, Adeline. Yes, girls supporting girls. Girls supporting girls. <laughs> You guys think I'm crazy, but I'm not. I'm so proud of her. I ordered it, obviously. Oh, yeah, let me tell you the price. It was £33, which is not that bad for a palette like this. Because you get blush, you get highlight, you get um, all that, all eyeshadows in it. It's quite a good reasonably price for it. Yeah, it's um, vegan-free, obviously. Um, animal cruelty-free, whatever it is. Um... I was like, so after you open it, it's 12 months on it. So yeah, like you do with makeup. So you see, for example, could I use, oh my God. So you see on this cream thing I have, it says, you can't really see it. It says like 12 months. So after you open it, 12 months will be like the expiry date in a way on the packaging and stuff like that. So yeah, so I'm going to do my quote of the day now. Oh my god, it's new. By the way, it's 4.50 that I end. Well, I did this, like, at, but here's the quote of the day. When you want to experience more good things in your life, but you've been focused on the problems. So what if instead of thinking about solving your whole life, you just think about adding additional good things one at a time? Just let your... Let your pile of good things grow that's so true same with Adeline she's letting all her good things grow since last year I think March or April she's been working on this palette she's been going to secret me and she's been uh, she couldn't really tell her audience anything about it till and then she released it on Sunday <sighs> can't wait to get it and review it and stuff like that and hopefully she'll see that video when I make it <sighs> I'm so excited so yeah I hope you guys have a beautiful week Beautiful Tuesday, whatever you're doing, enjoy your Easter. See you next week, Tuesday, for another video. Can't wait to see you guys. You know what I'm saying? So, buy my sunflowers and have a beautiful, cool, beautiful, wonderful, magical, all that day.